A trip to the emergency room cost a triad man a lot more than the medical bills. He was having a heart attack while driving. Add insult to injury, he got a $1,600 bill from a towing company. Two Wants to Know's Kevin Kennedy helped ease his financial burden. It's a trip he's made hundreds of times. I was driving down I-40 eastbound to Durham, was in the second lane. Thomas Coyne heading to work, but this time he didn't make it. Alamance County number one, where is your emergency? Coin behind the wheel, cars all around. All of a sudden, I felt something uh, like an explosion in my right chest. Somehow, able to maneuver his car to the shoulder, 911 on the line. What is your address? Uh, I don't know my address is. I'm on the road. Okay, what's going on? What, tell me exactly what happened. I'm in a lot of pain. Emergency crews sent coin drifting in and out of consciousness. The pain was so overwhelming that uh, uh, as soon as I pulled in the breakdown lane, I passed out. Taken to Cone's Alamance County Hospital and then the main campus. He was in surgery 10 hours. And they found an aneurysm the size of a large grapefruit. Coin would spend eight days in ICU. How he is still alive is a minor miracle. I found out later that I was actually dying. I was thinking in the seconds that I had left about others instead of myself. Hey, friends here. On this day, Coin is back home and doing well. Yeah, we're blessed. We're blessed. We're lucky. But this story has another twist. Remember he was driving during the medical emergency. His car left on the side of the freeway. It went missing. His wife investigated. He ended up calling the Alameda Sheriff's oh. Department. They didn't have any record of it being towed. State police also called. Still nothing. And there was no record of it, you know, being anywhere. A few days would pass, then a few more. By now, it had been almost a month. I ended up speaking to First Sergeant, and uh, he told me he had a towed. And I said, well, why did you have a towed if it was in a safe place? Even if a car is in a safe place, state policies allow it to be towed if on the side of a road or freeway. The car was taken to Adams Towing. The bill was uh, 1625 because it had been there for 30 days. Only a month after major surgery, still recovering, and with medical bills mounting, Coin didn't have $1,600. We were really in a bind. I mean, you know, I wasn't working. I, I didn't get my uh, my short-term disability started yet. I didn't know what we were going to do. Every day that went by, the storage bill went up $45. My subconscious started talking to me, and I think that was God talking to me, saying, reach out. A day later, Coin called us. We contacted the owner of Adams Towing and explained the story in detail. But when you told them what was going on and who you were, I, I think that's what changed everything. The towing company, sympathetic, willing to work something out. I want people to understand that your station is, is uh, you know, you're the best. The bill reduced by more than 75 percent. Coin getting his car back, thankful to Adams Towing and us. I've never seen an investigative reporter work so hard. And, and get something done for us. Coin still has a long way to go in his recovery now on long-term disability, but at least he has his car back and about $1,200 in his pocket. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.